beauty babes, welcome back to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for stopping by today. So today's Get the Look tutorial is a collab that I'm doing with my girl Amanda of Amanda's Beauty Bubble. She and I decided to do a look featuring the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe Brushes using the green shade in this palette. We just thought it'd be really fun to do a collab creating a look featuring that shade. As well we thought it was just a good idea because St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner so why not inspire you guys with a gorgeous look. So I'll put a photo up here of Amanda's look. It is absolutely stunning. You definitely want to stop by her channel and check it out. I will have a direct link to her video and her channel in the description box below for your convenience so definitely stop by and show her some love. In addition to that it is also a Jaclyn Hill inspired look. Now when I first saw this look from Jaclyn Hill I instantly thought oh yes she probably created that look with the Jaclyn Hill favorites palette and so I clicked to watch her video and was really actually kind of shocked to see that it wasn't using the palette. I understand now why she didn't do that she said that she didn't want to feel like she was using the palette for those who kind of missed out on it and da 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 and all that jazz. Totally understand but with that being said and she didn't I thought to myself well I can probably try to recreate it and show you guys how to get the, almost the same exact look um, using the Jaclyn Hill favorites palette. In addition to that I'm also using a few other products um, like this one. In her tutorial she kind of um, turns a bluish shadow a little bit more green by adding another color and I'm gonna do kind of the same thing but backwards using the green shadow and then turning it a little bit more blue by adding this over the top. This is a gorgeous gorgeous pigment and um, it is from MBA Cosmetics and I do have a discount code. You get you can get 15% off with code Agape Love15 if you would like to check them out. I will have a link in the description box below. Um, I am also using Esquito lashes, these ones right here. These are the Lash Lorette lashes, and so that is what is on my eyeballs today. And if you are curious as well about what is on my lips, I am wearing a combination of the NYX Matte Lipstick and Angel, and I top that off with the Gerard Cosmetics. Um, lip gloss in buttercream. So with that being said, let's go ahead and roll into the tutorial. I'm going to start this look as usual, priming the eyes. You can use whatever primer that you like. Don't mind my nails, they are in between manis and looking haggard as ever. And yes, I do have polish on one and half a polish on the other. <laughs> Next going on with this very light warm taupey shade of brown. I'm just going to take my Bella and Bear blending brush and bring that into my crease using circular windshield wiper motions. Next using that same brush I'm just going to dip it into this this very warm orangey brown shade and take that into the crease as well just to warm it up and add a little bit more dimension like Jacqueline does. Next using my Bella and Bear shader brush I'm going to go into that darkest brown shade there and just bring that to the inner and outer corners of my eyelid. Next, taking another Bella and Bear blending brush, I'm just going to do a little bit of blending here. Next, what I'm going to do is take this Bella and Bear concealer brush and just dip it in a little bit of primer that I put on my, the back of my hand right here. I'm just going to dab it in there and then apply that to my eye where I would like to take that green shade and then with that same brush I'm just going to go into that emerald green shade that is in this palette and apply it right over top.
Next, go back with that same blending brush and just a blend blend. Now because Jacqueline used a blue shadow and then topped it with another one to make it a little bit more green, I'm going to be using this really awesome Twinkle Dust from My Beauty Addiction and it is starts out white in the container but reflects a color. This one is in aqua so I'm going to be taking this, turning this green shadow just a little bit blue. And I'm just going to be using a Mary Kay uh, shadow brush and I'm just going to apply that right over top of that green. And it's subtle but just like her look where she just added a subtle touch of green to the blue um, just to create a little bit more pop of you know something so that is what I'm doing here. Isn't that so pretty? Gosh I just love it. Now I'm just gonna go back in like she did and just deepen up and darken up those the outer and inner corners with that same dark brown shade we used. Then with my flat definer brush from Bella and Bear, I am going to go ahead and take that same shade to my lower lash. Then going back in with the very first crease blending brush we use, I'm just, without any additional product on it, I'm just going to go ahead and take that and just use it to kind of blend everything together and out and all of that good stuff. Lastly, I'm going to take another Bella and Bear brush and take it into that second highlight shade there and just apply that to my brow bone, just very lightly, soup it in cross and then kind of blending downwards. Also go ahead and take that to the inner corners here, just lightly. And that completes the tutorial portion of this eye look. I'm going to go ahead and put on liner, lashes, and the rest of my face as usual, and I'll be back to show you guys the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to stop by Amanda's channel and check out her look. It is stunning. I know you're going to love her. Click like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. And if you'd like, you could stop by my blog today, GodBayLoveDesigns.com, for still photos that you can check out, see up close, pin to your Pinterest boards for future inspiration, and whatnot. I will have a direct link to that post in the description box below for your convenience. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes.